My dear friends, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Today, we are going to learn how to prepare infantile fante in a way that the fish will not be tearing. Red fish stew, yes, infantile fante. But before we go on, I want to plead with you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and also share. So we are ingredients to... here. I have my fish here. What I do is when I buy fresh fish, especially tilapia, I season it before I put them in the fridge. So that is my fish. I have my tomato, my pepper. Yes, the pepper is much because I like it hot. I like my, I have my onions here. I have also sliced onions that I will use to finish it. I have my red oil here. I have my ginger, garlic, natural spices, and I have this Negro pepper. I can't cook without it. It's very nice. You can give it a try. I have my mixed spices and I also have my salt. So we are going to cook. What I'm going to do is that I am going to blend these once. Then we'll come. What other um, when it comes to preparing fancy fancy, there are two methods. Some people would love to blend everything, the ingredients, and then add it to the fish and put them on fire while it's being cooked. They warm the oil with onion and then add it to it. And others also prefer starting preparing, starting with the stew, preparing the stew first, then they will add the fish. And so I'm going to use the second method. To prepare it so we are going to blend all this i'm taking it to the blender we'll blend it then we'll continue so these are blended ingredients so we'll go straight to the fire and start our cooking i'll put in my oil First, and I'll allow it to warm up. While it's warming up, I will put in my Negro pepper. I want the flavor in it. Okay. Want it to warm up the bits, and so at this juncture too, I'll put in a bit of the onion and allow it to cook. So um, I wouldn't want my onions to burn. So that's it. And I'm going to put it straight in my blended ingredients. Add a bit of water. Cook for three minutes, three to five minutes. Then I'll put in my fish. The reason why I will let it cook for three to five minutes is that you don't need to make your stew fully cooked and dry before you put in your fish because the fish will need the stew to, to cook it, to boil it. So if you let your stew dry up before you put in your fish, you are not going to get it the way you want it. It's going to tear because you, you would have to be stirring here and there. So we'll let it cook a bit before you put in your fish. Okay, so it's boiling now. But as you can see, it's not, the stew is not fully cooked. So at this point, I'll put in a bit of my salt and my mixed spices. I will put in a bit because if I put in everything and the stew is fully cooked, and the salt is too much, I might not be able to. So I just put in a bit, 
Then when the stew is fully cooked and I feel the salt is not enough, then I can put in additional sauce. So you see, the stew is watery. It's liquid. That is because the fish is going to use the watery aspect to cook it's cook very well and by the time the fish will be cooked the stew everything will be okay so i'll put in my fish and then allow it to boil i'll cover it and allow it to boil for some time or allow it to boil for five to ten minutes then so we are checking after a few minutes of boiling or cooking if you feel you want to stir your fish you want to stir your stew you first have to shake it a bit shake it you don't straight away stay shake it a bit then because it's what when you shake it to shake well then gently be stirring like what i'm doing so you can still have your fish in there without it being tearing okay so as you can see yes so I'm going to have a test to see if the salt is okay for me. If it's not okay, I will add a bit. It's not okay. So I'll add a bit of the salt to my stew. Then allow it to cook. So at this point, I'll lower the fire and then shake my stew a bit. And then put in my onion. I like onion, so I always love to see onions in my stew. I'll put them in and cover it for maybe two okay. So my infanti fanti is now ready. And I am going to serve it for you to see how it looks like. It's rather unfortunate. You cannot taste it. So So you see, my fish is in, it didn't tear, everything is just as I want it. And I have my onions in also just as I want it. So this is my infantil fancy. I really wish you could have a taste there, you know how tasty it really tastes okay so my dear thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing please i beg you like the video and comment bye bye